thanks so much for tuning in to today's Drawing for Adults program brought to you by the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. Today we're going to be drawing seashells realistically with colored pencils. So if you have Prismacolor colored pencils, I highly recommend those um, just so that you are able to get the most blending ability with your pencils. But if you have Polychromos or some other kind of colored pencils, it will be just fine. So don't worry, don't feel like you have to run and grab Prismacolors, but they are really really fun to work with so I definitely do recommend them. So um, here obviously you've been able to see a quick time lapse video. I'm going to be slowing this down and talking a little bit more about the process. So grab a pencil and a sheet of paper and we'll get started. Alright, so first things first, we will start by uh, doing a simple line sketch in pencil of the seashell. So obviously this is dependent on what seashell you're choosing. I would definitely do a good photograph um, of some kind of a seashell compared to just drawing from a another drawing or another painting or something of a seashell definitely work from either a photo or if you happen to have a seashell laying around somewhere in your house grab that it's always best to draw from observation when possible so I'm not going to draw every single detail here I'm just going to draw kind of some of the basic shapes and lines that I see because I really want to get a good understanding of form in order to do this very well um, as well as texture so I'm looking for any bumps and ridges and that type of thing in my seashell and that's what I want to include also use the angle of your pencil to cite this meaning hold your pencil up and make the edge of the pencil line up with the um, you know the angles of your um, lines that you see to make sure that you are getting it pretty close to accurate so that you don't have anything that's really crooked. Um, and then once you feel pretty confident in your sketch, you can go ahead and start applying color. I like to recommend when using colored pencils to start with a light shading so that you're not pressing down so hard yet. And that allows for lots of layers of colored pencils without the commitment of burnishing. If you're not familiar with burnishing, that burnishing is just simply that technique that you use when you press down really hard with your colored pencils and it makes it very, very bold. It almost looks like paint by the end of it. Another great thing to do is to add in extra colors. Sure, you might not see a ton of pink, for example, in your seashell, but what would happen if you enhance the saturation and the color just a little bit to give it a little extra um, just color and intensity? So I am kind of mapping everything out right now, treating everything kind of equally uh, to begin with so that I have a nice, even distribution of material and color on my seashell. So I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit here on my time-lapse video just because it is going to take a while here for me to do this. This was done over the course of several hours. So if you're like, wow, how, how am I not painting or drawing this quick enough? Um, that's why, because you're seeing this on um, super speed here. But so you can see here how I'm throwing in lots of color and then I'm adding those stripes that are in my seashell as a very um, final thing to do. And so that's easier to do, especially once I've burnished, meaning once I've pressed down hard with all those other colors. And then that way this just kind of lays on top of everything. And then my last step is going to be the background. You don't really have to do the background, but I think a nice shadow is kind of good just to kind of give it that sense of completion. Now, make sure when you're looking at your drawing as just a quick little inventory note at the end, is just to make sure you've got all of your highlights, make sure that you go back if you need to add extra shadows, that type of thing, just to give it a really nice sense of contrast and color overall. Sometimes drawing can be very difficult um, when drawing from observation, so give yourself a lot of grace and understanding that this is a difficult project to say the least, but I hope you've enjoyed today's drawing lesson.